On this week's edition of First Things First, I was lucky enough to catch up with Frankie de Tori and talk about his terrific San Felipe win. And then Millie Ball caught up with Bob Baffert to discuss, amongst other things, Game On Dude and winning the Santa Anita Handicap. Hi. You had to blow a little bit there. Hi. Yeah, it was a bit of a different race. I go running into the first turn, always got scared. Then he uh, ran off in the back. I was managed to keep him away and uh, got him to relax again. You, you said then, the horse got scared. What do you, what do you mean? Well, the first turn, one behind ran into me and he kind of clipped my horse's back legs. And my horse got scared and he ran off in the back. But. Uh, it didn't exactly pan out like I wanted to, but it showed great courage. It was a great duel with the captain, and we got there in front. Head to head with uh, one down the lane. Did, captain did, one. Did you did you think you had it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not giving me here to be past the wire. Trust me. Did you ever spot a derby fever now, Frankie? Yeah, of course. Now everything's developing. This is one of the trials. I suspect it's going to race him in the. Derby against the other good one, but uh, it's all developing now. We had the fun to the view yesterday. Yeah, Derby Field has started. Thanks, Frank. Quite a day for the Bob Baffert team. Uh, this time, winning with Newgate in the Santa Anita Handicap. This is your sixth Santa Anita Handicap. Just talk about the preparation that you put into this horse coming into this race. Well, we were bringing along. We always thought he's going to be a better horse as he gets older, and we been patient and just getting these races into him and then today was supposed to be his his coming out party kind of race and I was a little worried there turning for home looked like that horse had gotten away but uh, he just dug in and you know it's such an historical race and then to win it uh, for our team but with Frankie DeTore even makes it really special. Going back in the history of the San Diego Handicap for you, game on dude, right? He has just been announced as a finalist for the Hall of Fame. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm, I'm proud of all my horses and especially him. He was just, when he was on, he was just unbeatable. He's one of the top horses I've ever had. And unfortunately, you know, he had his best race was probably the Breeders' Cup in Kentucky when it was so deep and muddy and he almost held on, some long shot got him. but. It's, it's one of those things where, I, you know, I, I hope he gets in. You know, it's, 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 you know, have Justify in there too, another unbelievable horse, crazy horse. I don't know if I have another one like him, but, but it just really, it, it makes you proud. And, you know, it's, it's nice to, to, you know, that they're in there. Great chapters in your lives to hold on to. Yes. Congratulations. Bob Baffert winning his sixth Santa Anita Handicap. Really great to hear from Bob and Frankie and what a weekend they had winning three of the four greatest stakes at Santa Anita. Just a reminder that we are back at Santa Anita on Friday, Saturday and Sunday at 12.30 post time. We've got some good races coming up, including the grade one Behold a Mile.